Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be doing this review. If you follow me on Snapchat, you saw that I got the Tarte palette, the Pro palette that's out right now. And I basically got this for free. I paid seven bucks because I accumulated so many points on my Ulta rewards card. And I think I did over a thousand points and you can redeem them and purchase something. So I purchased this and I totally forgot about all my points that I had because I always go there for drugstore makeup or my hair dye. I always go there. It's because they just built an Ulta near me and it was never near me. So I finally started going all the time. I'm addicted to that store. And I wanted to try this out when it first came out and I was not going to buy this. This thing is $53. And I was not going to buy this. I was even going to buy the same day I bought this. I was going to buy the Kylie Jenner palette for 40 bucks. But I'm like, wait, let me see my points because I totally forgot about it. And I had $50 worth of points. So I went and purchased this baby. And I also got a concealer. So that's why I paid like 7 bucks. And I basically got the concealer for 69 cents. And it's my favorite concealer. Anyways, um, I wanted to do a review on this. And I did this makeup look. Uh, featuring this palette and all the colors I used all of that. I'll talk about that later And this is how the palette is. It's super beautiful Like gorgeous. So these are four chrome kind of shadows These are 16 mattes that they have and there is a variety of shades Which I love and all these shades are up my alley of course. I mean up everyone's alley. These shades are beautiful so I'm going to swatch and review all the shades that come in this palette and let's get started. The first shade is this color called Classic, which is basically a classic. Everyone needs a neutral like this and it is off-white and look at that, okay? Let's see how all of these are going to fit on my arm. Okay, this is the first one. I should probably take my bracelet off. Oh well. So this is the first one. I love to use this shade all over my lid as like a base kind of color. And this is called Classic again. And all the Tarte shadows are super creamy and soft. Like I never have a problem with Tarte shadows. That's why I love my Tartette, Tarlette, Tartette, something like that. The other palette that I've done makeup looks before. I love that palette. Their Tarte eyeshadows are bomb. So I'll go down the line and I'm going to go into Vintage and this is more of a white color. This is more of a milky shade and the other one's more of an off-white. So you can tell the difference. This is more white, this is more of a cream. So this is more stark white. Again, this is Vintage. The next color is Chic and this color is kind of like a nude pink. It's very, very, it's very good for a, a transition shade. This is, again, Chic. Next shade at the bottom here is called Indie. This color is kind of like a taupe uh, gray shade. It's really, really pretty. It has like a hint of purple in it. So this is, every time, I'm kind of like double jointed. So when I turn my arm, it goes sideways. So this is taupe right here. Taupe. This is Indie right here. This is called Innocent and this is kind of like a light version of a mauve color if that makes sense it's like a it's not so pink and it's not so purpley but it's like perfect in between and this color is just really pretty and this is Innocent next color is Fierce and this is more of a gray purple shade. It's kind of like a deeper taupe shade but more on the purple side. So this is a very beautiful color and this is called Fierce. So this is Fierce. So it's a beautiful gray purple shade perfect for that inner crease color you're trying to get. Like that color is just really really pretty. So moving on this is called Profesh. This is kind of like a tint lighter than Fierce, so this these two complement each other very well. This is Profesh right here. It's very, very pretty. So see what I mean? It's just a tint lighter than Fierce. This is Profesh, Fierce. So these two would look so great together. 
So going to the last color in this row, this is called Bold, and this is just your everyday nude. And it's kind of cool toned, it's not so warm. And it's really pretty for a transition shade or an all over the lid shade. Very, very pretty. Now going to the middle row right here, this is called Whimsy. And this is kind of like a burnt orange red tone. It's really, really pretty. I use this on my look, I think, all over the lid for my Instagram picture that I just posted saying that I was going to review this product. So this is Whimsy. Burnt orange, perfect for fall. And all these shades have the same consistency. They're super smooth. So the next shade is No Filter. I like that name. <laughs> and this is kind of like a purple shade. It's just like a dark, cool tone purple. Really pretty as well. I'm going to say really pretty for all these shades. I mean, <laughs> you can't complain. So this is No Filter. The next shade is Mod. And this is kind of a pink shade that has a tint of purple that I find in it and this is a color that I use today on my lid and this is mod and this is just like a pink tone that has some purple in it it doesn't look as pink on camera but I promise it is pink <laughs> kind of like a dark tone pink kind of like the color that I have on my lips but a little lighter <laughs> and the next shade on this row is called edgy and this is just like a light brown kind of like milk chocolate shade which looks milk chocolate on the palette but looks more dark chocolate on camera but I swear there is a darker brown that I will show you so this is called edgy so moving on to the final row of matte shades this is called smoked and this is the darker brown that I was talking about and this is more of a cool tone dark brown it's not so warm as edgy so this kind of almost black looking, like a dark black brown shade. This is smoked and this is edgy. So this looks more like a dark brown, like really, really dark. <laughs> Moving on to the next color, this is called Vamp and this is just like a deep, deep purple. The color, the name of the color explains it. And this is called Vamp. You can't really tell that it is purple. But on the palette, you do see that it is a purple, just a deeper tone. The next shade is Drama. So it's just like a purple shade with some pink tones to it. And this looks more purple than Vamp, but I promise you when you see it on the palette, it does throw off that purple pink tone. So again, this is Drama. Now the last matte shade is Punk, and this is just a true black color, simple black. This is a color that I use for my uh, eyeliner today that I just smoked it out on top, and this is just called Punk. So moving on to the last row right here, and these are the four shimmer shades, kind of like chrome colors. And the first color is called Ethereal. Ethereal? I have no idea how to pronounce this shade, but ooh. These feel more softer, kind of like milkier texture. Ooh, this is called Ethereal. I probably am butchering the name, but bear with me. So this is just like a gold, solid gold color. The next one is called Glam, and this is the color I used on my inner corner today, and this seems more like of a champagne shade. This seems like a perfect highlighting shade. So this is called Glam, I don't know if you can really see it, but it's very very shimmery, champagne, bright, I like that. The next shade is Minx, and this is a color I used on my lid today, and it's just like a purple uh, shade with some gold specks in it, it's very pretty as well. This is Minx. And the final shade is called Trendy, and this is my favorite color of the whole palette because this reminds me of this color from MAC. I don't know the name of it. And it throws off purple and blues in the light that you look at it. Like, it's just kind of like an iridescent shade. It's very pretty. I like this for an all, all over the lid shade, which I've done with the MAC color that I really like. I wish I knew the name, but I don't know. So overall, I really enjoy this palette. 
again, I was not going to buy it unless I used my points because I, I, I just rather spend $53 on something other than one palette. But it's very, very pretty. If you like to purchase it, I'll leave the link down below. I have always enjoyed Tarte shadows. They're really just soft, luxurious, and they like melt in your fingers kind of, if that makes any sense. But it's the same on the lid and they just blend so seamlessly. I really enjoy Tarte Cosmetics shadows. So that is it for the review and swatches of all the shades. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Now going to the middle shade, not a shade, with some pink tint to it. You can find it. You can find it where? So moving on to the last row, these are the frost.